This video demonstrates a problem with terrain detail textures for grass, where you can have some artifacts show up on the edges of your terrain texture. I've created this circle texture, um, which uh, is right here. And you can see that there's some artifacts on the left and the right side, and also in the game view, you can see on the bottom too. So this scene has nine grass textures in it. All of them are completely solid and different colored, except for the circle, which is just used to more easily see what, what's going on here. It, but the problem actually happens on every one of the other textures also. So a couple people said that uh, online that this artifacting problem was due to either having your textures not marked as clamped, which isn't the case for the grass textures. Even if you set it to clamp, this will still happen. And some other people said that it was due to MIP mapping, but that also wasn't the case. Um, well, the, the reason why it happens with terrain textures, with grass textures, I mean, is that Unity creates an internal texture where each one of these textures is put next to each other into a single texture. And what you're seeing here on the edges of, for example, this white circle texture is this pink over here is because in that internal Unity texture, that's where it's put this pink texture and on the bottom where there's purple which you can see right here is this purple texture and on the right hand side is the yellow texture and i'll prove that with the frame debugger so if i go ahead and uh, start you can see my grass textures waving because of the wind shade uh, no, the wind effect that the shader implements go to frame debugger and enable you can see i've captured a frame where there's some pink over here purple on the bottom and yellow on the right. And if I just step back a little bit, okay, here's the step where it actually draws the colors for that texture. You can see here's the main texture right here and I'll control click on it. And now you can see the internal texture that Unity is composited out of my own textures. And just like you can see where it's being drawn below on the bottom side, which is where this purple is, I have a, that's where they composited the purple texture in. The right side, where the yellow is, that's where the yellow texture was composited. And the pink on the left, right here, um, it just all matches up. So I filed a bug with Unity. Um, I, I'm sure that they did this for some sort of like, you know, either to save memory or to improve performance. And so maybe we just live with it, but um, probably the best way to work around it is to make sure that you have a little bit of um, uh, like you have an alpha channel that keeps the edges from being used at all. So that that way, when it does bleed over, because it will, it's an invisible area and not another color.